are doing well welcome to this week's vlog if you're new to my channel my name is Karen and I make vlogs weekly you know the vibes of being a consistent queen <laughs> anyway guys um yeah welcome to the channel I hope you enjoy it please feel free to binge my videos it's like I feel like this channel has become like a virtual diary I do have a few things coming up informative things coming up soon so please do look out for that but in today's video um Honestly, it would just be a vlog of the next few days. I did not vlog. So today is Thursday um, evening. I didn't vlog the whole week. So um, I guess the vlog will start today for the rest of the days. Um, I really don't have anything planned much, but I'm going through like a crisis right now. My kitchen has an infestation of roaches and I had to like let go of my help because I actually think she purposefully brought me an infestation so um, I think I have like um, an exterminator who's gonna come on Saturday to sort of spray and get rid of them because oh, guys if I can tell you that that's what irks my spirit is a roach I have been killing them mercilessly but now it's like at first I saw one two but it's like they just breeded and now it's like a thing so I'm just like oh, fee coffee. like fee coffee. So let me just get it cleaned and you know all that stuff. So yeah, it's been a hectic week because obviously, like I've said, I have not had a house help, so I've had to do everything by myself. As you can see, I'll show you guys. I have to go like put the laundry on the line. I just took it out of the washing machine, so I need to go and put my laundry on the line. But I need to eat first, so I'm just trying to like cook. But also, what is a vlog without a cooking session, guys? Anyway, guys, let's make dinner. So for dinner, we're gonna make. Um, I think just like a beef stir fry. I want a wrap and I think so we want some like rice. So I'm thinking of making like a beef stir fry wrap for myself and then I'm gonna do like um, um, rice and beef stew. So, we... so I normally try to use um, beef that's a little bit softer. So growing up my mom always made us buy chuck and I think chuck is one of those beef cuts that's just so easy to um, so easy to cook because it's really soft and you don't cook it for a very long time so in order to make your strips you just have to um, cut the beef into like tiny tiny pieces I tend to remove all the fatty parts of the beef because if I don't it just ends up being fatty and I feel like animal fat just dries up so you cut the beef up as I guess at your preferred size right so you cut the beef into like little strips in your preferred size and then you do this until you're done with all of it so what I did was I tend to wash my meat <laughs> multiple times as you guys can see so I will wash the beef strips so I wash the chuck just before I cut it and then I wash it again and I pat it dry with a paper towel after that it's time to season it so i go in with my black pepper really really love the woolies black pepper guys it's just so efficient and i guess with black pepper you just have to know how much black pepper you want so i usually go in with as much black pepper as possible <laughs> uh, i love to put in my black pepper and then i really really love these uh robertson spices so i went in with one of their zesty lemon spices i feel like these spices are really good because they have salt already so you don't really have to add salt and they just give so much flavor to the food like to be honest i prefer these to their standard um other spices i prefer these at this range and then i go in as well with their rosemary and garlic which is one of my faves as well i love using this and i use this in most of my dishes if you guys have watched like my other vlogs you see that i really love to use this and then after that i just go in and i mix it so just a funny story guys there was a point where i couldn't stand touching meat but growing up now i've had to learn to just mix the meat with my hands and i feel like it then blends a little bit better 
right so after that you just put on your pan and put a little bit of olive oil or whatever oil that you're using i try to use oils that are good for the heart because guys you gotta watch that cholesterol when you are growing so i think this olive pride is quite good but if you can afford to get yourself some virgin olive oil that would be really great so i go in with um, some olive pride and sometimes i use butter but today i decided to go in with olive pride and i think i decided to put in the beef strips before the cooking oil was very hot because i just didn't want to go through that you guys know what i'm talking about <laughs> yeah i just didn't want the beef and the oil to splash all over the kitchen so i just went in and i put it before it got very hot then after that i went in with my vegetables because what's a stir fry without vegetables right and at this point i was just like you know what let me check on the beef you know they know the vibes but yeah so i decided to go in with um guys i don't know what this 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 vegetable is called but i really like it it's very soft very easy to cook so i just washed all my vegetables put them in a colander and i started to cut them just uh, in preparation for the stir fry so yeah i went in with this vegetable it's so easy to cook and i think it's really tasty and really holds flavors in to be honest you can cut it in whatever way you want to cut it in this instance i decided to cut it into longer um i want to say rectangular uh, like little um strips similar to the strips that are um that the beef like similar to this to the to the structure of the beef if i could put it like that so i decided to cut them so that even as they sit with the beef they are like aligned in terms of size and shape so yeah i really love these vegetables they're so good and i think they're really healthy because i think they are high in um in your vitamins and they don't also lose color which means that at least you'll be able to get your vitamins in very very quickly and then i also decided that i was gonna go in with some peppers because peppers are so good and they add so much flavor to your food so the peppers of choice for this particular stir fry were red peppers and yellow peppers so i just went in similar to the other vegetable whose name i don't know guys i just know it when i see it in the shop i went in and i cut the peppers in um, the similar shape and size as um, the beef strips and this other vegetable so i think at this point what you need to try and do is you need to try and just get everything to be similar shape like i said i think it helps with cooking because the size is the same but it also helps with aesthetics and the way that your food looks and how attractive your food looks i feel like most of the times for me before i eat i think the most important thing is to look at my food and see like okay this food looks good and from that point on i will eat and enjoy my meal so i feel like presentation is key so you always have to make sure that your food is looking good is neat and you know you know the vibes generally i do not like to cut vegetables but um because i live alone i, I actually live alone i live with my husband and at this point i was alone so i couldn't even ask him to help me to cut the vegetables so yeah um so i just went in with the yellow pepper same thing same shape same similar sizes i won't lie the sizes were not exactly the same but they were very similar and then um yeah i went in with that and then i opted to go with some spring onion instead of actual onion because i really love the flavor that spring onion gives like i feel like spring onion is one of those that just like it's so packed with flavor and like if you use it you'll be able to get something really good out of it so i just went in and i cut like really big chunks of the spring onion just following you know the size of the current vegetables but i try to make them a little bit smaller because once they do cook especially the stem part of it i don't know if that's called the stem or the flower or whatever it's called uh what ends up happening is that it becomes so soft so with spring onion i try to make them a little bit smaller so that even when they do cook they don't really look weird and yeah so at this point um i went back to check on my meat and it had started to cook and brown a little bit as you can see 
I just, yeah, I just really love um, getting my meat to that level. So I went in with the rice as well. I normally put in some oil and I fry the rice a little bit before I actually get it to boil. So I put in some olive oil and I fried the rice whilst uh, everything else was cooking. And at this point, by the time the rice was getting ready, I was ready to get into my beef. So I started with some garlic, put in some garlic. Guys, garlic is one of my favorite favorite vegetables i want not say it's a vegetable or, or spice, whatever it is but i love garlic garlic really just gives that food that kick garlic just you know changes everything also i feel like i used the wrong pot because it started to burn at the bottom but what i did is i kept adding water just so that i can lift the flavors that had burnt at the bottom then i went in with my vegetables now most of the times people will tell you that you shouldn't put all your vegetables all at once because they have different cooking times but all of these vegetables are so soft so i was able to cook them all at the same time so i went in with all the vegetables so that they could all be cooked through the same by the time the meal was done so so basically you just try and get them in there to get them to cook uh, make sure you're flipping this uh, regularly then i went in with um, some more spices so i put in some paprika just to get that sort of char flavor um, in the stir fry so i put in just a bit of paprika there and then um, i mixed it up uh, following uh, the paprika and i just let it stir for like sometimes as you can see guys what i was saying about the onion you can see that once it's cooked it looks a bit you know yeah anyway so i let that sit for a little bit whilst the vegetables are cooking obviously you want them to cook through though i do love a little bit of a crunch in my vegetables i won't even lie and because i didn't make any vegetables for this meal i wanted to preserve as much nutrients as possible um this hack guys thank me later double cream kefalos is amazing and it adds so much thickness to your food then i also went in with some coconut cream just so that i can make better life decisions i try to use coconut more than i do dairy cream because coconut is very good for you and um the fat levels are really low so that's good for your cholesterol so i try to use coconut milk and coconut cream instead of um um like cow milk and cow cream so coconut cream i must say is a bit lighter than usual cream so what ends up happening is um it would change the color of your food and it's like you just added water as you can see the food tend turned out a little white but you have to be very patient with coconut because once you do add it when it does set in and it starts to cook the food then um sort of like just as you can see it just settles in anyway guys i hope you try this recipe i was just here to give you guys one of my favorite recipes then i went in with some rice i just put in some parsley and that was dinner good morning guys i hope you guys are doing well welcome to a yeah, world what is that <laughs> no seriously though um welcome to a uh, new day in the vlog today is friday i can't tell you guys how excited i am about the fact that it's a friday like i'm just so happy because this week has been so long for me like i just feel like it wasn't ending i'm just like can you end like today because i'm actually quite done but it just wasn't ending but anyway guys we never get what we want right but yeah anyway i'm just checking in on you guys i'm on my way to work um yeah, like i said it's friday so like i do have quite a bit of stuff that i need to do today generally at the office and then um yeah i don't know if you guys heard but i'm trying to get an exterminator so i'm gonna call the extermination guy today to see if he can come and exterminate my house and then um i'm also going to call there's a guy that helps me clean my carpets because i haven't cleaned them for months so i'm gonna call that guy as well today to see if he can come and clean my carpets 
like guys I don't know if I've ever mentioned this in any one of my vlogs, but like I am a convenience queen. Do you know how a convenience queen is, guys? Like, I will not suffer. Like, I will not suffer. As in, for any reason, I will not suffer. I'm one of those people who's like, if I can afford to pay for it, let me just pay for it so that I'm not inconvenienced. Like, I don't know if any of you guys are like that, but that's how I am. Like, I'm always like, there's no point of me stressing myself out. Like, I already know how to do some of these things. Like, I have home training but like convenience because you know what ends up happening to me is when i decide to do that whole um you know boss babe thing where i'm like super woman super everything i find myself in a position where i'm just so tired and i start to lash out at everyone around me so that being said convenience is everything for me so i'm going to ask someone to help me and I will pay the, the bill for it because I just feel like a lot of women like there's so much pressure in our society for women to continuously like do things like they're superhuman or like they're robots and like honestly guys if you can afford it as in honestly if you can afford it just do it like unless you're like in a position where like currently it's a little bit difficult for you to like pay for things otherwise like if you can afford to pay for it i 100 percent subscribe to convenience like get the help get the nannies get whatever you need to get and don't even feel bad about the fact that you're being either a bad wife or a bad mother obviously i'm not a mother so i can't really say what that what that would feel like but as a wife i i used to feel really bad like when i got married and i'd be like oh no you know my house help helps me to like you know like she helps me to clean around the house she helps me to do laundry hey no side doing it i just couldn't do it like as a as not a nine to five as an as a 7 a.m to god knows what time um i switch off my computer it's just not attainable for me so just here to drop those those few words guys i will catch up with you welcome to a new day in the vlog so today's saturday um i didn't vlog much yesterday because there's just a lot really going on around me um so i finally managed to get an exterminator to come and spray and quite honestly like when he was spraying i was like i shouldn't have seen this because it was just so watery and so wet but he sprayed everything and quite honestly i can see like the little things that have died um i'm so happy because i feel like the infestation wasn't so bad because i can like sort of see how far it went so as you can see like the cupboards there are open he spread everywhere so today we have to watch every single thing um yeah and then i have a new help that's coming in today uh because the other one was fired yeah but i have a new help that's coming in today and i'm hoping that her and i can just get through the kitchen get through the pantry and just like clear everything out so let me show you guys i sprayed every single place um the only instructions he gave us were to remove like food stuff but everything else he sprayed like he sprayed all my appliances like the few times that i used my air fryer i saw a roach and i ended up not using it because of the same reason and i'm sure you guys can see that there's some that are fallen there's like two there two fallen soldiers over there and then um the spray is still in there so i'll need to thoroughly wash this stuff guys before i use it and then um yeah i don't know if my juicer has anything in it and then he sprayed the whole stove as you can see everything is just such a mess um he sprayed my bread bin he sprayed every single place now the only thing is like even when he was spraying i was like this like he sprayed everything like my glasses i need everything to be washed but you guys can see like they're dead and they're dying i'm so happy yeah so they're dead they're dying guys they're dying i'm sure there's more that are dead um around the place but i really 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 hate roaches so i'm really happy about this development and then he just told me to leave everything so like all the dishes i did and everything he just had to spray everything um and yeah he sprayed the curtains and it's dried up um he said it only needed like one hour 30 minutes for it to like dry 
but I'm still I'm quite sensitive so I can still like feel it on my throat so I'm just gonna try and clean and get everything out of the way I'll show you guys an after because currently my kitchen floor looks so disgusting like yo guys you can even wonder where yeah, everything is like there and like, you can just see that the floor is just a mess you can spray the kanji as well um let's see yeah the back of the fridge and like you just spray it everywhere so in here not much not much but I'll, I'll try and see when i'm cleaning whether something pops up but yeah so i had to remove like all the food stuff and then um he spread like everywhere my carpets to get clean i took them to get clean well not i took them i called someone to pick them up to get them cleaned i will put their instagram profile um in my description they are fantastic um so i gave them my carpets yesterday and they said that my carpets would be ready tomorrow which is sunday so i'm really happy about that i'm hoping that i can show you guys how clean the carpets come out if this vlog doesn't go up by then um but he's just really really good so today i'm thinking oh the light is too much today i'm thinking of getting out my curtains <sighs> it's just so much work but with my curtains i'm not sure whether i should take them to the laundry i think i should take them to the laundry because i feel like if i wash them myself i'm a dynamistic so yeah so i'll take my curtains to the laundry maybe actually because they're so filthy so filthy um take my curtains to the laundry and then just like clean my chairs by myself and all that jazz but yeah anyway um i hope you guys enjoyed this vlog so today honestly my main day will be like basically cleaning the house and then i have one of my really really dear friends coming to hang out with me today um so i'm really excited about that and then i have a bachelorette later on but i'm not sure i'm gonna be able to vlog the bachelorette just for people's privacy but i'll see if i can get like little snippets of the bachelorette um one of my really really good friends and all the sisters is getting married i'm so excited puffy i love you so much and you deserve the world yeah so i'm so excited about that but anyway i will let you guys um just watch the rest of the video and um please let me know what you guys do when you're cleaning like if there's anything that you see in this video that i don't do right please tell me in the comment section because i feel like i pride myself in having a clean home and that's why i was just like roaches is a non-starter like there's an idea it's a non-starter for me like it's just a non-starter yes babe it's just a non-starter so i'm really trying to like just get everything so clean and i also feel like because i'm having someone new to come and help me it's better like she starts on a clean slate i don't want her to pick up on like my old maids old habits like that lady just gave me blood pressure so i just wanted to start like on a new slate i want to show her what i like so that her ex my expectations are known to her and she can also tell me whether she can meet my expectations because that's another thing so yeah, anyway guys, um, I'm going to catch up with you guys later and um, I hope you enjoy the vlog. No, I'm perfect, so go ahead and drink up. I'm so glad we got to link up. Taking that off, taking that off me. I've got the plug, I've made the cup of green. Talking late night for you. Let me lay a great time on ya Don't make me wait, no, don't you Just like you Wait up, wait up, wait up Come to it, chill, chill, chill Just like you, wait up, wait up, wait up Come to it, chill, chill, chill Just like you, wait up, chill, chill, chill Lack of reply, had you catch it. Oh, my gosh, I look what's the name. Please open. Oh, my God. Oops, sorry, my bad.
Oh, that's the delegate. Why the kiss? You left the gift. Hello. My bun looks like a dog walk. Anyway, guys, my baby girl came to spend the day with me. We've just been cleaning the house and chatting. Now we're gonna get food. Hey guys, um, it's Sunday today, so this vlog needs to go up, but um, yeah, I just wanted to tell you guys all about The Bachelorette last night, it was really good, like, um, I felt like there was so much love for my friend, um, and I had so much fun, but before that, I had a couple of my friends that came over, um, so that was really fun as well, and I spent the whole day yesterday with my friend Chihuahua. So it was really, really nice. Um, like the weekend's been really good, really chilled. I haven't been home to do anything like cleaning and whatnot in a very long time. So I feel like it was so refreshing for me to just be able to like, um, to like be at home and to clean and to do all of those things. I didn't show you guys an after of my kitchen because God knows it was such a mess. But I'm gonna show you guys up uh, for the end of the vlog like what the kitchen actually looked like. I got the carpets cleaned as well and the person that cleaned my carpets is fantastic. Um and he delivered them yesterday. So I was able to put them back um in the living room and then um yeah I like I literally spent most of my time um just cleaning and just trying to get the house to look a type of way which is clean and then um yes but the rest of the day with my friend we got ice cream we got lunch we got coffee it was fantastic it was really nice and then um yeah so 
right now i'm gonna close off the vlog here but i do hope you guys enjoyed this vlog i know it wasn't like a really eventful weekend but i hope you guys enjoyed this vlog and i'm going to see you guys in the next vlog but i promise you i'm going to show you what my kitchen looks like so don't go just yet <laughs> I got the plug I made